Uh, sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been super busy with school and getting ready for grad school and a bunch of other crap. But, oh, it's super dirty. It's probably not that much better. Um, anyway, we're out on the pond again today. And I'm going to try and catch some fish on the old chatterbait. Maybe the jerkin stick. Old reliable. And the weenie bait. Not as big as I thought, but that's a big one. Look how dark that fish is. Yep. Pre-spawn. Another big one. It's not that big. It's probably a three pounder. Thanks for playing, bud. the male. That's a big one. God! So the first one I lost came off of that bed. The one I just lost came off of that bed. Lost two fish and one cast. A big one too. Lose those two, and that's the one I catch. Another bad fish.
good fish though. Week number 5,000. Um, dirty Cinco Snatcher. About to catch a dirty old fence pan. Halfway done with the day. I didn't expect to be catching bedding fish, but I'm catching bedding fish. I didn't think they would be up there bedding because this is a pretty small lake. Yeah, that's basically the whole thing. And I thought that the water was going to be too cold, but there's freaking fish everywhere. And as you can see by my tribbles and triolations, I can't get any of them in the boat. I'm losing like half the fish that I freaking hook. I don't know what the deal is. I, I don't know. I'm gonna go back through a couple of the a couple of the stretches that I uh, initially went through, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day.
can see, I'm back at the house. Um, I checked the tip on that flick shake and the tip of it was rolled. So that would explain why I lost basically every other fish that ate it. Moral of the story is always bring extra terminal tackle. I didn't do that because I'm stupid. Overall, basically all but those first two fish I caught came off of a bed. Hopefully I'll be able to post some more videos here soon. Um, yeah, I don't know. Later.